Jeff the maintenance man to security. Y'all not gonna believe what just happened. Security just drove the golf cart up here. There's the golf cart charger. The golf cart's up against the door and I can't open the door. So I'm trapped in here. Help me, help me. Maintenance man trapped in the phone room because the golf cart's in the way. The golf cart is up against the door of the phone room, and I'm in the phone room. I can't get out. Hey, security's on the way over. Good God. Jeff the Maintenance Man, guys. Let's get started. <laughs> Hey guys, Jeff the Maintenance Man here. We're looking at Toshiba. There you go. Stratus. I think these are the 670s. There's four racks of them. They go all the way up to the roof. If I want to assign phone numbers to anything on this block, I just uh, get this old. Uh, this cable out and hook it up to a uh, computer with a static IP address and I can access the main card up there and I can assign anything that's connected to these um, this does all our transferring of things I can't film too much stuff around here just give me one second and I also we also have a rack this is part of our AT&T phone fax and not AT&T, but uh, our phone company, whatever they may be. I'm covering the IP address right now for the ProCurve rack because that's kind of private. Um, but this is phone and fax and stuff like that. This I've hooked up for our AL uh, through this uh, rack. I uh, say, well, Jeff, you can't run phone and cable and stuff through cat everybody knows you can so piss off but anywho with that um, we have firewalls and other crap that's going on as most of this is not even used now but um this is what I want to show you these racks right here that control our phone system they output to these blocks these blocks are all hooked up now whether or not they're assigned or not some of them aren't hooked up so this is potentially a number I can use because the wires are coming out of here and going into these 66 right here so I can take any wire from here that's disconnected like um, this one, this one, there's others. It's, it's a mess. Yes, it is a mess and it's not my job to do it. This one got pairs here, right here. But look, I got, I got phone numbers that are tagged. I'm not gonna show you the phone numbers because that this is stupid that I can use and some of them have bypass the block entirely so when you hook something on this side it goes through these wires and or it goes into these fuses and it goes into here and it goes to the south wing if I hook that wire it goes to the east wing if I hook this wire it goes to the west wing if I hook that wire it goes to the west wing or, I mean the AO and then if underneath here there's a 50 pair that goes to our memory care unit. So just to give you an idea of how this works, I don't need to screw with AT&T. 
I'll show you where AT&T's block is. Um, a lot of stuff is in the way, though. They looks like they put more stuff in here. This is AT&T's block, right here. I don't touch that. There's no reason for me to. This is AT&T's block. This is the first time I've ever touched, physically touched this block. In the nine years I've been here, there is no reason for me to even be here. Okay? If AT&T comes and they need phone service over at, let's say, the memory care, the thing that they would do is probably something like this. Or there's a wire, there was a wire running, but they tidied it up since then. But there's a lot of phone shit going on here. These are secondary blocks. Some of those are connected to those 66s. Some of them have fuses on them. Some of them don't. Some of them is for emergency, alarm systems, whatever. See, um, blah, blah, blah. Got uh, Bell South uh, boxes here. Right here. You can comment and tell me what those are because I don't know. I don't care because I don't fuck with them. That's it. That's all I do is look at it. Here's the back of the rack. And there you go. So, that being said, I can take any number that's free, like this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. There's another one down here that I, I absolutely know, these two red and green. Uh, that's for our shop. I mean, I could hook those up and we have a shop loan but if I need those uh, for something I'll just call my cell phone I'll get the number and then I'll send it over to where what part of the building it needs to go south wing east wing west wing and AL or memory care so I can hook them to this block when it go when I go over to that electrical room you'll see the same exact block like in some of my other videos it looks just like this that's because this block is connected to that block. So all I have to do is select any empty terminal here. See, some of them have been labeled and stuff, but it doesn't matter. I can pull, pull this off because there's nobody, there's one person on this whole block that's actually using this. And I think it's this woman right here. So I'm not going to pull her off of that. But to put her on AT&T, you, you're stupid. You, you clearly, I'm going to use your terminology, you clearly do not know what you are looking at in my videos, and you clearly don't know what you are talking about. So, hmm, I could get off the laptop and all that, but there's IP addresses and stuff that I would have to fade and stuff, and you can call me lazy if you want to, but I'm not going to do that. Because I unhooked the laptop. It was been done so many damn times. This Cat5 cable was just like hanging here. And you, you can put up a laptop over here on the rack and, and stuff and whatever. But yeah, we have a lot of old systems and a lot of uh, just old systems. This is an old fire system. It's not even used. It's just sitting there. Man, you want to see telecoms, communications and stuff? Want to tell me what I, I don't know what I'm freaking doing? Dude, I'm taking a phone number from this rack that I've assigned to this block. I'm putting it to that block, and then I'm going to that wing of the building. There's 317 apartments. There's four wings. And then there's a fifth one that we call memory care. And I can put phones anywhere in the building that I want. If I have to transfer from AT&T, what I would have to do is take from AT&T's block, put it on our block, ping it off of our block into the resident's apartment because I don't even have the wire to do this because it's not required for me to actually do this by my job. They asked me to do it. Can you do it? Whatever. That's fine. Yes, I can do it. Do I do it? Yes, I do. Anyway, these 66 blocks here, they go up 
into the rooms here okay this is pretty much the same exact um, setup as in the other electrical room I also made a video on here of me hooking up this woman right here uh, for 323 which she can be unhooked now because she doesn't need it um, and she is hooked here she is the only one hooked here this wire doesn't matter these wires do not matter because there's only one person on this entire block right here I don't even know what these wires are doesn't freaking matter there is one person on this entire block that is actually still hot and that's this one okay the reason in that video I was changing her from here to here to here to here to here to here it doesn't matter I can select any of these pairs right here and I hate these things these why don't they just clip them off and just get rid of them if are not used that's look this is going to AT&T's block okay I'm not gonna I'm not even gonna mess with it I'm just gonna put it over here because none of my business say TNT not my my system so I don't care it can stay over there AT&T's block is right here this is AT&T AT&T buddy right there there's some phone numbers and all the information you freaking ever need most of these wires go to the apartment why would they go to our block in my video look this is totally separate these wires are going up to this block there's no reason to go from this block to this block to up to those blocks that it's just stupid why would you do that if I wanted to if if a resident already had AT&T all I would do is tone and would tone down here and then I would I wouldn't even have to do that because the phone company would do that AT&T would do that Southern Bell AT&T whoever the hell does whatever the hell they need to do I leave their systems alone I do what I need to do this has been rigged up by other maintenance men in the past it looks like or some phone guys or something but usually what I'll do is from the main phone room we have this exact same box but it has an S on it or one has a W on it and that takes when I punch down on that block it comes back to this block in the exact same order as I punched it down so in one of my videos it was like one two three four five and I counted down to like 26 and I was like okay there she is and I tapped it down because I put her number on an unused pair on here this like I said before this only has one person on this entire block I can unplug all these I'm not going to because it's late at night and I don't know if people are mooching off of us or whatever when they moved in they hooked up their phone and they realized that they do have phone so I'm not gonna do that um, and that's fine if they do they're not gonna complain when their phone goes out and I'll figure out that they are indeed connected to us and then they'll get disconnected these people are grandfathered in she's been here like 20 years so she's on our phone system her in her rent is included phone we used to do that we are fading it out now so they cannot get on our phone system anymore so this block can entirely go away and you'll have AT&T AT&T like I said again it's separate right here it's separate from our system none of these wires are going to this block they they just don't the only thing is the one I put over here which is that dumbass DSL filter thing so I don't understand why you think I gave her AT&T's phone number when I never touched this block I've only touched this block okay from this block I would go to the resident like this I would go up here and I would attach 
her cable. Like I did in the video. I was like, I should have went with my feelings, blah, 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 blah. And there you go. She's attached to our block. It goes down here. I maybe wrapped it around. It's probably this wire or something. I don't know. I think it's this one. And I attached her to the block. And she's already moved out. So technically there's nobody even hooked to these blocks anyway. So we use these blocks just to transfer a phone temporarily. And that pretty much is it. So I don't understand why you would think I gave her AT&T's phone number because the bottom freaking line is if she didn't have the same phone number, her family members couldn't call her, her brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, whatever, relatives could not call her because I gave her another phone number or she would get crossed back on the line or crosstalk. I don't understand the concept of in that video where you think that I gave her somebody else's phone number because these these 466 go out to the apartments. This is one wing of our uh, building. One wing. 68 apartments. We have four wings. Like you saw in the other video, we have f four of these boxes. And then we have a fifth one for a memory care, which is like a little 27 uh, apartment. So I'm not even going to include that. But that's what I'm saying. So when I hook it up over there in the main phone room, if I hook it up to South Wing's box, we're in South Wing right now. This is South Wing's box on the other end. So I just take it, match the pair, hook it to the block. Call it, make sure the customer's happy, call it from a cell phone, whatever. See, got a cell phone. <laughs> and um, that's how that works. So don't tell me I don't know what I'm doing because you misinterpreted my videos. You have a great day. Smile and have a great day. Jeff the Maintenance Man, y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching or whatever. But like, comment, and subscribe.